What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is hump day, and it has been an incredible day because we found out about the Dallas Cowboys practice schedule. We sitting here, I'm supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice, not a game, not, not a the game. game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice, not a game, not a, not a, not the game not that the I game. go out there and, and die for. We talk about every game like it's my last not practice, practice in Oxnard. And I couldn't be any more excited than I am. We are planning some big things here with training camp and practice. Um, some of you may know that on hump days, we end up doing the Dan Salio show that we do the Dan Salio show, um, where basically I get double teamed by Philly 500 and Dan Salio, and they tell me how much the Cowboys stink and things, but be that as it may, there's a method to the madness. We are going to be at training camp. We're going to be actually hopping on that big old jet airliner, um, on the 4th of August which is a Sunday, driving up to Oxnard, where we will be there Monday practice, at least as the schedule goes, which is always subject to change. They're going to have practice on Monday and Tuesday. We'll be there for both of those. Um, Wednesday will be an off day. We'll still be in town. Thursday will be practice with the Rams. Oh, yes, practicing with the Rams. Friday will be another practice. They're off on Saturday, in which case we'll be headed to L.A. because we're going to go to the preseason game at SoFi Field. Um, here's where it gets to be interesting because, um, and I have no reason not to believe Dan Salio, but we will be broadcasting live from training camp the day of the practice and may just may have a few um, people there stopping by for our broadcast. And we also have some other interesting news. Um, some of you may have known that we went to the autograph signing. We saw Michael Irving and things and um, uh, got an autograph that we'll be giving away one of the plaques and stuff. What it looks like is Michael Irvin will be joining us the week of the Eagles versus Cowboys, where we'll be going to that gate. Let's listen in here to the conversation. Even in this dead time of the year. The Yo, star I wish, is I the wish. biggest thing Dallas sells. They don't sell stars. One star reading. One star reading. Well. Oh, man. Here's that where is a great Eagles. segment. One ring. Mm. One star rating. One, One star Cowboy rating. gate. Okay. Hey, you Cowboys. just gave me a segment of the week oh, starting in the season. One, hey, one star. Cowboys? One star segment. How about we just call we it one, one ring star. segment? Wow, I love it. dude. Okay. I got to tell you guys, pretty good stuff. But, hey, guys, you know where Philly's coming from? He's coming from a place of trying to rectify a problem of a year ago. And you know what you guys are coming, coming down with? Same old shit. Dude, I, I this is just a different year. Same old conversation. And now you're going cheap? No, they've always gone cheap. It's not anything new. Oh, I'm sorry. I went back too far. And he goes, okay, so Michael Irvin. Okay, here we go. I'm a grown-ass man, damn it. I'll be there no matter what. Hey, wait a, wait a minute. From what I understand, he tra he says yes to all your deals, and you give him some bullshit at he the 23rd it, hour, yeah. and you're always canceling no. on his ass. Bullshit, yeah, he decides to change up. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do it this way. You name no. whatever. I, Philly, no. here's, here's the thing. You uh, name I, it. Let me get the list. You, you name it, Where's buddy? my list? You name it. I I'll do find it. my list. Except for the haircuts. All right, I'm going to bring the cigars, too. Okay. <laughs> I got some yeah, we'll hey, see. I'm going to bring the opuses. going to bring um, the cigars for Trader Joe's. I'm going to bring you some opuses, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Those All are right. $40 cigars I, that I, I, I've never had $40 mean, cigars. When, when things go well, I light one of them bitches up, and I haven't lit one up in four years, so. 
<laughs> oh, okay, so it's coming. Right. I've been hanging in there, guys. Once again, I'll tell you this: What's there's that? no doubt this is the best rivalry in the National Football League. And this rivalry, I'll tell you what: we get a lot of compliments on people that are now watching it more and more and more each throughout the week. I mean, people just, it's, yeah. Us? I get great letters. Okay. Hey, you two guys, man, you guys do a great oh. job on your shows. And did you tell him about Michael Irvin? Michael, yeah, I, I think I did. Michael Irvin. <laughs> Michael Irvin. So Mark goes to Michael Irvin. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't tell him what he said. So Michael Irvin, he saw him at a signing there in Virginia wow. this past weekend. And Mike said, he goes, oh, yeah, Dan called. I've been meaning to get back with him. He did actually mm -hmm. after that day. He goes like this. He goes, so how about this? I come on during Eagles and Cowboy Week with you. And who's the other guy? I go, Philly 500. Mm -hmm. And he goes, okay, so Michael Irvin, you, Mark, and myself, Cowboy. I think that's games in Arlington, too, it right? It is in Arlington. The first one? Yeah. Okay. The yeah, first November one's in Arlington. Yeah. So the four of us will come on that Wednesday okay. for the I Cowboy like game. And we'll, like we'll, we'll chomp it up there. I know you like Michael Irvin. There you go. Yeah. I mean, How's he's that? a cowboy. You know, More but, importantly, you know. after we kick Well, maybe ass, I should get Seth Joyner, too, so we can make it balanced. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Seth, what there you go. What would be even better uh, we get Seth Joyner on? Yeah, get Seth. I, I, mean, I, like, I, I mean, win. Mike Irvin's a nice guy, obviously. Um, I hate him when he played with the Cowboys, but I'm a Miami Hurricane fan, so I liked him when he was with the Hurricanes. Because he's a Jerome fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Philly, I forgot yeah. to tell you this. You know what yesterday was? The anniversary of Jerome. Anniversary Brown. of Jerome yeah. uh, passing yeah. away. Shout yeah, out to you. I saw that. was a great tribute oh. yesterday. All right, so we'll, we'll pull that on down. So we've got a lot of stuff that we're working on for this season, guys, and this is just the beginning. If we're able to work and get this stuff planned right here when there's nothing going on, we are going to really get this thing taken off. Shout out to Philly 500. He is my boy. Um, and, and Dan Salio, definitely. And we're less than a month away for training camp opening up. Um, hopefully, um, I was texting Law as soon as the schedule came out. Law will be there, too. He said he probably won't be there as long as he was last year uh, for training camp. So I'm hoping we have crossover because I think it was Red Robin that we had uh, meetups and things. And so um, we'll have post-practice meetups and things like that where we can go through, talk about what we've seen and so forth, so forth um, with the Cowboys. I know that we've got Stephen Jones, who is Stephen Jones, but um, we still have football. We still have hope. So that's where I am, and that's where I'll continue to be, being a hopeful Cowboy fan. As always, I appreciate you guys, and we got a lot coming up for this season. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.